Hello and welcome back to Sovereign RPG. Today I'm going to be showing you how to run multiple accounts on the EVE Echoes using one program, namely by the name of Bluestacks. So I'll give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you are able to run multiple instances of this and we'll get through it as quickly as possible with as much information as possible. So firstly, you want to go to bluestacks.com. I will leave the webpage in the description in the bottom. You want to scroll to the bottom of this page all the way to the bottom you want to go to download bluestacks that will bring up your program down in the bottom here where the download is completed you will then click that exe and install to whatever drive has the most space as each version of eve echoes will actually need 1.6 gigabytes minimum and that would be per eve echoes open bluestacks after you have installed bluestacks you want to go to the Bluestacks Multi Instance Manager. You want to double click that. You will have this window here pop up and this will be empty apart from your main zero Bluestacks. You want to click new instance. You want to click fresh instance and you want to scroll to as many as you would like to make new ones. I picked five for mine because I'll be running six accounts on mine. You click the create button. It will then bring up all of these here. Now this will be a good time for you to go on to Gmail and create five extra Gmail accounts. Name them whatever you would like. It could be like mine, Eve Echoes 1, Eve Echoes 2, Eve Echoes 3 and so forth at gmail.com. And then you are going to want to click start. You don't want to click start on all of them at the same time because it can make your system really slow down. I have quite a powerful system myself so it's not too bad for me. I will open up two for you just to show for you in the video. You're going to want to go into the Google Play Store once you have this up here. So you click on the Google Play Store. A pop-up will come up asking you to log into your account. You log into your email account or the ones one of the ones you have created. And once you have signed into your Gmail account, you want to go into the Google Play Store and download Eve Echoes. It would be just like you were doing it off of your phone. This is emulating your mobile phone or your tablet. Once it has downloaded, you will see it pop up here like every other app screen you will find. You then click on that icon and it will open the game for you and you can open up as many instances as your computer can handle. It will slow down quite a lot as it takes a lot of CPU usage and a lot of RAM usage to open multiple blue stacks. As you can see right now, we are opening two instances of Eve Echoes and they are running pretty smoothly. If you open four or five, it will slow down the frame rate quite a bit. And if you open up six or seven, it will slow it down even more. You can also use this Bluestacks multi instant manager to figure out which one of your accounts you want to open up at any one time. So you don't have to open them all at the same time, but you'll be able to easily just open up whichever one you want and know which one you are using at that time. Right now we cannot access the game as it is not the 2nd of December yet, but we are getting very close and we'll be there very soon. I hope this video helped a few people. I've mainly made this for my corp as they were wondering how they were able to do it. If you like this video, press that like button. If you'd like to see some more videos like this, press that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in another video. Take it easy.